I'm Invalid Ghost, and I'm playing... No, no, I almost said The Sims. <laughs> I'm playing Animal Crossing. It is August 7th, 9.31am. Yes, I woke up super early to, <laughs> to play some Animal Crossing. Well, okay, I woke up earlier than 9.30, obviously. But, whatever, this is probably the earliest I've recorded anything in my life, maybe. Okay, probably not. Actually, I used to record at like 7.30 in the morning to play The Sims 2. <laughs> Back when it was still like on the first uh, episode. So maybe that's a lie. Uh, I'm gonna show you my house in a minute because I made some changes. Some things have happened. And also, uh, Tom Nook's place has upgraded again. I haven't seen it yet, but it... You know, I got the letter yesterday that, oh, we're gonna be closed all day. Okay, this is an amber, so I can sell that. Cool. Also, I could have deleted all my freaking letters, but I didn't because I'm an idiot. See, Tom Nook is like, look, we, we grand opening today, blah, blah, blah. Cool, don't care. Alright, ignore my cat whining in the background. I don't even know what he's meowing at. Just ignore him, he's a drama queen. Okay, uh, museum again. We got a mammoth skull. Ooh, that's new. That'll go right to the museum. Another mammoth skull. That'll go right into my wallet. <laughs> and grab me that last letter that's in there. Thank you. Alright, let's read these things. Also, I still haven't sold my turnips yesterday. I didn't sell my turnips yet because I couldn't sell them yesterday because the freaking store was closed, so hopefully today we'll get some good results. The Amazing Nick. Ooh, The Amazing Nick. Uh, I mean, The Amazing Nick. Say Nick, I read your letter. Ugh, I made fruit salads yesterday. <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> I read your letter. Ugh, I made fruit salads yesterday. Like, what the frick? What kind of transition is that, Static? Tough. It was a complete failure. I want fruit salads. Fruit salads. Yummy, yummy. Sorry, Static. I guess I guess you're just gonna have to not have a fruit salad. Sorry. Dear Nick, hello, how are you? I'm doing well. I broke my unlucky streak the other day. I caught this huge small bass. A huge- what? <laughs> right when you can! Your friend Peaches. Alright, I don't think that's how that works, but sure. Also, um, the reason why I have this sapling in here is because I found it at the, uh, lost and found place, and I just- didn't know what else to do with it. I could have left it there, but I didn't. Hey, it's- Oh, hey, it's static. Angry signs. I buried a ranch, a ranch hutch somewhere in Acre F4. Whoever finds it keeps it, but you'll owe me big time. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go to Tom Nook's place and see the new store. Because I don't remember what happens, uh, what- I don't remember what it looks like after the second time. I'm, isn't it- Is it the big fancy store? Is that the third one? Is it, like, the third and final thing? No, it's Nookway. Okay, so it doesn't change much the third time. Okay, so is the fourth one the expensive fancy place? Holy frick. I don't know, I don't know if I remember this. The welcome value customer, please come in and brighten my humble store, hmm? So tell me, how do you like your new basement? Oh, that's, that's what I was supposed to show you guys before I came over here. <laughs> Spoiler alert, Tom! <laughs> Have you been down there to check it out? Quality work, is it not? Now you may not know this, but the Happy Room Academy doesn't judge your basement. Most are just too dank, yes? Yeah, I got the dankest basement ever, guys. I gotta show you my dank basement. It's real good looking. So you can feel free to store as much loose junk down there as you like. Or not, it's your choice. Now for the small matter of the bill. Okay, yeah, jacking up the house, digging you a new basement. Mm, equipment. Mm, raccoon labor hours. 49,800 bells. Well, that's less than it was last time, I'm pretty sure. Last time it was over 100,000, so... You know, I can, I can do that easy. I can do that in a day. It's a, bar it's a bargain, I assure you. Oh, and I'm sure you know you don't have to pay it all at once. Certainly not. Summer's actually, like, the greatest time to start a new Animal Crossing game. Simply because there's so much fish and bugs and stuff. Like, if you start in winter, you're not gonna progress very fast. My birthday's in winter, so... It took me months <laughs> to, to even, like, get my, uh, get, get a basement when I was a kid. Because I just couldn't find anything. I was like, nothing's here, all I could do is sell fruit. <laughs> you can continue to pay it off through the post office like before, yes, it's been a pleasure. But starting off in summer is just the best freaking thing. Oh my god, we've got paint! Okay, we've got three shirts. I kind of like this one. But I also kind of don't care. But I might want to buy it just so it's in my catalog. Green bench. I kind of want that. What? 
What? What the frick is this? <laughs> what is this? A grass model? <laughs> Excuse me. Sure, I'll take it. Thanks much. But it appears you can't carry it. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot my pockets are full. Okay, so... One, two, three, four furniture items that we can buy from. Where's the six? No, this is just a random clock. Okay. So, a lot of furniture items. We got four flower bags we can buy. Two tools here. Okay. Oh, oh, I remember this. You put your thing on it. You put, like, one of your designs and, like, animals will start wearing it. Or whatever. I remember that. And then paint, I guess, for the roof of my house. I like it purple. So I don't need that. And then, can I buy a new journal? <laughs> and we got two different carpets and two different wallpapers now. And two stationaries. Wow, Tom. Things are getting crazy up in here. Alright. Well, I need to buy a lot of stuff. But also, I need to sell you some stuff. Yes, yes, what can I do? In fact, I need to sell you a bunch of junk. Like, I didn't expect you to close- Wait, 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 before we do anything- before I do anything, what are your turnip prices? Other things, please. First things other go. Okay, here we go. Turnip prices. Today I'm buying 65. That would be a net loss. Ooh. Ooh, that'd be terrible. I'll check back tomorrow. I might not record tomorrow, but I'll, re I'll check back tomorrow. Fine, I'd like to sell. Very well then, show me what you got. Hmm, okay. Alright, sell these things. If I add it up and price comes to that, sure. Tell me, is there anything else? Look at that, guys. We're already, like, almost a quarter of the way there to paying off my house. <laughs> Alright, I want this. That's a signboard. The price is 500 Yes, I want, I want to buy that. So that people are forced to buy my frickin' sign. You need to pick a good spot, you understand? Not in someone's front yard. Then you face the sign, press the A button. Once the sign's in place, you paste any one of your own designs on it, Nick. You can use signs however you like. So put your little- put a little- your creativity into it, okay, Nick? Okay! Give me these flowers. That's a white tulip bag. It's a steel. I'll buy it. Thanks much. Okay, cool. I'm gonna just put some stuff in my... Thing. What, is, what is this? Why didn't I sell it? Oh, writing desk. That's why I didn't sell it. Okay. Move! Yellow tulip bag. I'll take it. I want all the flowers, of course. I'm gonna ask the wishing well which place is the ugliest. So I can plant all these flowers there. I might want to buy the axe just to have a second axe. I still haven't gone tree chopping much, but, uh, you know, that'll change soon. That'll change soon. Also, guys, I haven't checked on my golden tree yet. I still don't really know what it's gonna do. Like, that whole golden shovel thing. I don't think I ever did that as a kid. It's just something that I remember my friend told me to do, and I just never did it. Because I didn't believe him. Because, you know, he also told me other stuff that didn't exist. <laughs> so, you know, it was hard to trust him. Oh, God. Ah, oh, you know, it's too late. It's too late. That thing's gone. It's long gone. Alright, I'm gonna put my, uh sign the frick's wrong with you i don't know what his problem is he just wants attention and love and i already gave him attention and love kitten look i love you but shut up <laughs> um i'm gonna put it i'm gonna put it right here in front of in front of these two houses it's a perfect place to put it uh erect Yes, perfect. Perfect spot. Shall I post a design? Yes, I shall. I will post Invalid Ghost. Everybody subscribe to my channel. <laughs> they don't care. I didn't talk to these two yesterday, so, you know, that's not a good thing. Hello, how are you doing, Pearl? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, it's Nick. Hello, kitten. Sorry, I'm a touch sleepy. You sure are full of beans for this early in the morning. So full of beans, it takes me off, kitten. But let's get right to the point. What can I do for you? Can I help you out? Now that you mention it, thank you for the letter. I already wrote you back. I'm pretty fast, aren't I? You'd better be fast too, Nick. Hurry up and read it, kitten. Okay, thank you. Uh, Pate, how are you? Hey. Hey, Nick. You sleep okay last night? Quackle, get some quality time sawing logs. I know I'm a girl, but... 
this is still gonna be my voice. I slept so-so. Anyway, what's up, Quackle? I want a job. Oh, you know what? Your timing's impeccable. I really need a favor from some helpful person, Quackle. I need to take this clothes to Astrid. I'm not that- it's not that far. You don't mind, do you, Quackle? I kinda mind. It's pretty far. Okay, then, great, cool. Go get him, Quackle. <laughs> Alright, great. I'm gonna go down now and go to the- Frickin' 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 frick 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 Okay, first of all, I need to put my axe away. Second, grab that net. Okay, come here, come here, come here, you. Come here, you, you frickin' frick. Gotcha! Ah, I gotcha! See, this is how you get tons of money. <laughs> this is how you get tons of money in Animal Crossing. Because, uh, I guess I gotta get that later. Because, um, hey, I had you in my old town. Um, what was I saying? Uh, in summer, all these rare bugs and stuff come out, and, you know, you catch them and stuff. Hey, how you doing? Boots. Uh, you're a boy. Okay. Nice morning, ain't it? Say, I don't know you, do I, Munchie? They call me Boots. Awful nice meeting you, Munchie. Okay, yeah, sure, whatever, Boots. So that's a new guy. Wow, my god, we've got so many freaking villagers. I don't think I've ever had this many villagers in my place before. <laughs> Is this normal? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it probably is. <laughs> I, I just always was a mean person to my villagers. I didn't really like any of them as a kid. <laughs> you know, Nick, you've got one unusual name, Hop Along. I mean, it's just plain unusual. <laughs> I've been thinking about that since early yesterday, Hop Along. Yep, that doesn't make me some kind of freak, does it? You've said this before. So what do you need? Can I help you too? Getting my snooze on in a flower patch on a bright sunny afternoon, watching little puffs of clouds flow by in a warm summer breeze and blah blah blah. Nothing, I mean nothing beats a day like that, how belong. Great, don't care. That didn't help me at all. I'm gonna go to the museum now. Oh wait, actually, tree. It's tree time. Um, my tree hasn't grown anything yet. But it was like that yesterday. Do I shake it? I'm scared. <laughs> Should I catch the stupid, robust thing? I'm gonna just write a letter to the museum because I know I'm gonna have to anyway. Gimme. I caught a robust cicada. All right, great. I'm gonna go uh, pull up this weed and then I'm gonna... Are you ready for this? Oh wait, I can't. Wait, can I? Okay, I can't mail someone else's belongings. <laughs> Alright, okay. Oh wait, I need to put my shovel away too. Because I can't shake a tree with a net in my hand. They don't exist in that timeline yet. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, my friend wasn't lying to me. Oh my god, yes, I got the golden shovel. What will I dig up with this? Oh my god, oh my god, he wasn't lying to me. He wasn't lying to me. What happens if I shake it again? I'm scared. Does it just stay golden like that, too? Because, I mean, I like it. <laughs> I like it. I like the golden tree. Okay, cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why does it have a silver tipped... Oh, whatever. I don't care. Okay. I heard that if you, uh, just shovel random stuff, like, bells will come out. But maybe that's a different game, huh? Also, am I crazy, or is this going a lot faster? I don't know. But I can sell my other shovel! What happens if I sell a golden shovel? Oh my god, I need to do that. I need to find that out right now. I'm gonna plant my other shovel. Come out here, shovel. I don't need you anymore. I'm gonna bury you, and turn you into a golden shovel, and then I'm gonna sell you. Because you're worthless to me. Now that I have this golden shovel, Hey, Penny, I still don't like you. I'm trying to get her to leave. I'm not talking to her. <laughs> Glathers, I have stuff. I have a mammoth skull in my pocket. Mammoth skull, Blathers! Mammoth skull! Oh, who, who, I say, a mammoth skull? Well, wonders never cease. Blathers, your eyes must be failing. You know it is true. The mammoth... Oh, the mammoth's complete. Oh. The mammoth, it's complete. Who I say, hooty who, phenomenal, sensational, a truly grand occurrence. Welcome to Cloud Nine. Blathers, compose yourself now, then, where to begin? Mammoths, yes, mammoths, the wooliest of woolies. You mean like Wooloo? <laughs> From Pokemon Sword and Shield? They are, of course, mammals, and ones that lived much, much later than the dinosaurs, what, what? Pleistocene. Please, Pleistocene. 
Whatever Earth was their home, and they are firmly established in our minds as creatures of the Ice Age. Mammoths ranged in height from 6 feet to 14 feet at the shoulder. The woolly mammoth is their most famous species. The last of the mammoths died out some 10,000 years ago, which coincides, coincides with the descent of man. I can read. <laughs> it, I like how his eyes go big like that. It is perhaps the first animal whose extinction was contributed to by man, though certainly not the last. <laughs> Thanks, Blathers. <laughs> Humans can truly be the most thoughtless and callous of creatures when they think only of themselves. <laughs> Thanks, Blathers. I'm the only human here. Who, oh, I say again. Who? Oh, dear. I wasn't referring to you personally. No offense intended. Temper, temper. You have our deepest but profound gratitude. Might there be anything else you wish I don't know? Your support is greatly appreciated. Truly it is. I earnestly hope we can count on your continued patronage. Patronage. Patron. Yeah. All right, then. Let's go see that freaking mammoth. Oh, it's beautiful. Mammoth torso. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm still missing one of these. But yeah, I got the amber. Okay. Got a whole bunch of stuff. It's actually very easy to remember what I have and what I don't have because of how little uh, there actually is here. Like, frick. When I, when I was a kid, this seemed like it would be impossible to collect everything in the museum. <laughs> But now I'm like, oh, I'm already like halfway done with the bugs. <laughs> and it's only summer. <laughs> like, see? Holy frick. Man, I've got like almost all the freaking stuff. The only summer bug I'm missing is that stupid freaking dragonfly. That thing! That thing! That thing right there! That thing right there! That thing right there! Gotcha! Gotcha! Oh, I thought I had you! I thought I had you! And I'm sad. I hate it. I hate that bug. I hate that bug so much. Just absolutely hate that bug. <laughs> uh, where's Astrid? Are you at home? Hello, Astrid. You are at home. I want your painting. I want your painting. Can I have your painting? Okay, okay, Quackle, I hear you, but I beg of you, could you please lower your voice just a smidgen? I didn't sleep last, well, last night, and I have a rather splitting headache, Quackle. I must start sleeping better. Lack of sleep is something. But let's get right to the point. What can I do? Delivery! Get, take this! Thank you. I can always use more clothes. Wait just a second. I'll change. Oh my god, it's a rainbow. It's beautiful. I'm going to change right here. Okay, that's that's a little disturbing. You just changed in front of me. I am a child. <laughs> oh, just look at me. I look far too lovely. I just know I'll be all the rage at the next social. I want you to have this. It's the outfit I was just wearing. I like it, but I am fancy myself more of an autumn. Of course, I'm not exactly confident that'll fit you. Tee hee 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 hee, I'm calling you fat. <laughs> oh my god. Very nicely done. For the time being, it appears that I have no reason to regret asking for your help. Alright, cool. Don't care. Moody blue shirt. Mmm. That is a, a moody blue shirt. You know what? Just for you guys, today I'm gonna wear my moody blue shirt. Because why not? I'm gonna put my other shirt in one of these letters. <laughs> Alright, what do I have in here again? I know... One of you has flowers. I know that. Give me that, so I don't forget. I gotta plant these things. I gotta plant these suckers right away. Hey, Dozer, don't care about you. Uh, oh, also, I think I just got darker. <laughs> or do I just look darker because of the shirt? I don't know. But, yes, I'm pretty sure Nick is at stage 5. Finally. Like, I think he was at stage 4 last time. I think he's stage 5 now. What errand have you at the Wishing Well of Texas? Uh, how are things? In areas where there's very little green. The very blah, blah. Acre 8-1. You still think that Tom Nook's place sucks? I don't understand. I don't understand. Why does he think that Tom Nook's place sucks? I mean, it does. But also, I planted flowers there and you, mother ever, you come back here right now! I hate that freaking dragonfly. I hate that freaking dragonfly so much. The closest I came to it was right the right before that one. You you guys saw it. That was the closest time I ever caught to I ever got to catching it. And you guys witnessed it. You guys witnessed my almost catching it. Gotcha. Freaking piece of garbage. <sighs> I wish the freaking dragonfly was as easy as that. Hey Olive, you're cute. Talk to me. 
Oh my, Nick, how nice of you to come and talk to me. You're such a sweetheart, Sweet Pea. From now on, when you see me walking around, be sure to call out to me, okay? You promise? So what can I do for you? Uh, need any help? Let's see. No, sorry, nothing much going on right now, Sweet Pea. Ask me later, okay? Okay, cool. Catch you later. I'm gonna go up here. This is A1, right? I'm not going crazy? Yeah, this is A1. Well, what the frick's the problem? We got five flowers here. Is there a hidden weed somewhere? Oh, well, nope, that wasn't an A1. Hmm, I don't understand. I don't, I don't know why the wishing well likes you so much, Tom. I think you have something to do with it, but I'm not gonna question it. There we go, all the flowers are planted. Your place looks so beautiful now. So, don't come complaining to me. Welcome, do come in and blah blah blah. Okay, can I sell you my junk? I like to sell. Very well then, show me what you got. Yes, I've got the cicada and two purple butterflies that are probably worth a lot. Buy it all up, price comes to that. Okay, cool, don't care. Don't need anything else. Alright, um... What is this? That's a captain's log. It's a captain's log. I kind of want it just because it's called a captain's log. Heck yeah, okay. Uh, I gotta buy all the furniture, of course, because I want the raffle tickets, because I want a hamster. That's a green bench. It's a steal at that price. I'll buy it. I also kind of want to collect the kitty stuff, just because that's what I used to want to do when I was a kid. I liked the kitty stuff when I was a kid. What can I say? I was a kid. <laughs> Next raffle date's August 31st. Bet you can't wait, hmm? Nah, I can wait. I can wait. Steal at that price. Yeah, I'll buy it. Thanks much. Thousand bells. Thanks much. Please take this raffle ticket. Okay, cool. I'm gonna take this patch of grass, too. Gimme it. That's grass model. It's a steal. I'll buy it. Thanks much. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Okay, yeah, I get it. I understand. And last but not least, this stupid thing over here. That's an extinguisher. It's a steal at that price. Yeah, I'll take it. Thanks much. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And, uh, what else? Uh, do you have a kitty wall? I mean, I guess it would be a playroom wall, huh? I guess I should have taken the playroom wall. Backyard fence? I kind of want to see that. Oh, that's cute. That's... That's cute. No, I don't want to talk to you. Okay, cool. No, I don't want to talk to you! <laughs> I want your backyard fence! Shut up, Tom! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Alright, how many- we got 554, five, alright. We got freaking 14 raffle tickets. That's crazy. Oh my god, what- Oh, that's just irritating. Okay, alright. Oh, I see glowy glow, okay. All I have to do, this is easy, is chop down the stupid tree that's in my way. F you, tree! Oh, he provided me with a thing. Oh, how nice of tree to do that. Gimme! Beh! Alright. That. Uh-oh, my pockets are full. Oh, never mind, drop it. What is this, anyway? An Emi figure ring. I don't know what that is. Alright, give me this. Check it out, I dug up a thousand bells, my pie is full. Should I swap it? Yes, you should, because if you bury it again, it'll become a money tree, and I don't think money trees are really worth it. Maybe they are, to somebody, but I don't know. I want to bury this shovel and then sell it. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Give me this thing. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna figure, I'm gonna find out. And also, I'm gonna chop down these trees because I don't want any interference with my baby. Oh, I didn't mean to chop you down too, but you know what? Well, well. <laughs> That's just how life works. Trees, get used to it. Sometimes life just takes a big ol' axe and chops you down, and then it takes a golden shovel and it scoops you out of the ground and throws you away like trash. That's just how life is. Do I need to chop you two down too? Nah, I think I think my tree's okay. My tree's okay. I don't need to catch that. I'm gonna put all my junk in my basement now. If I have enough room. Hopefully I do.
Not gonna do anything with that. Alright, let's go inside. You guys can see my nasty house. It still looks the same. It's ugly. Oh, also, I found Gulliver uh, yesterday. You guys didn't get to see it. But he gave me this. Pretty, pretty sweet. Alright, let's go down. Here is my collection of junk. Uh, it's pretty nice. We got a minute work sign, a pool table, this thing. I mean, a lot of this stuff I'm gonna sell. Uh, I just couldn't sell it yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we got a flame shirt. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, anyway, put all my stuff down. What's this look like? Oh! I had one of these. I'm gonna sell it. Alright. Uh, green bench. Might use this one day. You know, if I ever get a green room. Oh, writing desk. What does that look like? I kind of like it. You know, I'll keep it. It'll be right there. <laughs> There's my manhole cover. I can walk over that. And I can walk over this. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that. It's like a rug. Backyard fence. And last but not least, my blue wall, right? Yeah, I don't need that either. There we go. So there's my basement. <laughs> we also have a UFO in my basement. Because <laughs> this is Nick Taco. I mean, the series wouldn't be complete without a UFO. Actually, I think Peach just gave me that. Um, so that's that. Alright, let's see Pearl's little letter. Oh, she gave me a gift! How cute! Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. Thanks for that novel you wrote me. Anyhow, I was cleaning my room and I found this old piece of junk. It looked like something you'd like, so here, take it. Okay, thank you. What is it, I wonder? It is a plaster wall. That just sucks. Okay, let's go to the dump. Let's do our annual dumpster dive diving. Annual's a yearly thing. I probably shouldn't call it annual. Let's do our daily dumpster diving. <laughs> Oh, goody, I see items. Also, nobody ever picks up my trash that's in here. Wave print and regal bookcase. Ooh, a regal bookcase. Nice. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna put that in my envelopes here. Um, where's my wave print? There we go. Oh! Oh, it's nice. It reminds me of the ocean. You know what? Now I'm gonna just wear that. <gasps> My cherry tree grew! Oh, that's right, guys. I had a cherry tree. And here it is. <laughs> I have a cherry tree. And now it's time to chop it down. No, I'm kidding. I'm not freaking George Washington. Even though that's, you know, a myth. The whole cherry tree thing. Alright, give me these cherries. So, usually, what I like to do is, on the first harvest, I plant the other three. And then I only sell the... Uh, the things on their second harvest. Because that's how you get money. Oh, my peaches grew too! <gasps> yes! Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna get rid of this stupid weed. I'm gonna just chop down some trees, make room for my cherry trees. Also, you gotta make sure you never plant trees next to these signposts because that's where houses are gonna go. In fact, don't even plant anything near those signposts. They're dangerous. They're deadly. <laughs> Alright, um... There we go. Ooh! This tree was a money tree. I'm sorry I had to kill you. But now you're gonna be a cherry tree. There you go! I hope you grow up well, my beauty. Alright, what is this? A hundred? Yeah. Lame. Okay. Let's be very careful. Extracting the fossil. <laughs> Check it out, I dug up a fossil. Alright. Check it out, I dug up my cherry tree that I just planted like an idiot. <laughs> I've done that so many times. It's not even that funny. Because I've done it so many times. Alright, I'm going to plant my other cherry tree right here. Because that just looks like a nice open spot for it. And the third one will go... I don't know, somewhere... It'll go right mm, here. 
That looks like a good spot. That's a good spot. There you go. I'd quit. <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, uh, berry. There we go. So now we got three cherry trees. That's nice. That means, uh, we can get a lot of money, a lot of bells from the, those trees. Now I just gotta plant the, the peach trees as well. Hey! Me and Pearl are wearing the same outfit. That's so cool. Oh my, it's you again. Yes, kitten. By the by, do you need something? I'm bored. Why are you sniffing? Sampling my lovely perfume, or do you perhaps smell my fruit, kitten? Alright, fine. I suppose I could give you one, kitten. These fruits are rare, though, so don't expect to get one for free, kitten. I'm charging you 610 bells. I don't even know what it is, but sure, I'll buy it. Did the cherry smell that good? It's another cherry. <laughs> I didn't even need it. It's just th these animals like I think peaches once tried to force me to buy an apple for 2,000 bells It was crazy, but I bought it anyway because I had 63,000 bells, but still It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Okay, uh, I'm gonna just put the stationary in my stationary. All right, there we go Give me these All right, oh frick just drop it. I will put my 100 turnips in a letter. You can't mail turnips or living things! Come on. Come on now. Oh, they're talking! What are you guys talking about? Aw, oh, dang it, you don't do it. Okay, that's fine. I'm bored. What a beautiful morning. I love starting my morning under a bright blue sky. Yeah, whatever. Okay, cool. Where should I plant my trees? Mmm, here looks like a nice spot. I know a lot of people are good at planting and stuff, and they're gonna look- they're gonna be angry at me wherever I plant my trees. But I suck at planting. I'm not good at it. You know what, I'm just gonna plant it- OH MY GOD, THERE'S BEES! <laughs> ah! Try to catch him, try to catch him, try to catch him! Okay, I skidded and didn't catch them. Great. Oh. Oh, that looks ob absolutely vile. Oh, that's awful. Alright, well, um, the beehive miraculously just disappeared. <sighs> Whatever. I don't even care. Give me the stupid... <sighs> Give me the stupid, uh hole so I can plant my stupid peach so I can die in peace. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Nice little peaches. Uh, one right here too, because why not? Why not? That's not what I wanted to do. I'll just try it again. <laughs> Alright. Game's lagging a bit, and I'm gonna blame the bees for that. I'm gonna blame the bees on that one. I'm gonna plant a tree right here. I'm gonna plant a cherry tree. Nice. Okay. Alright, done with all that. Done with all that nonsense. Okay, um... Static awake? I saw Static asleep, I'm pretty sure, so I think he just went in to go to sleep, didn't he? Nope, he's awake! Yay! Static, my good buddy, how are you? War har 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 har, mercy, I cry uncle, please, don't make me laugh so- Oh, you're preferring my freaking bee stung face. A guy could laugh himself into a sin serious injury seeing a face like that of the crack of dawn. You just made my morning. Thanks to you, I feel lucky not to have to look like that all day. Ksh! I hate you, Static. I hate you so much. Hey, you there. Oh, it's you. Ksh! Hey, why are you even talking to me? Ksh! Uh, let's chat. This is a pretty pleasant morning. Ksh! Yeah, okay, freaking. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I forgot he would just insult me. <laughs> Great, I need medicine, but you can't buy medicine at Nook's store for whatever stupid reason right now. Hello, how are you doing, Dozer? Morning. Whoa, look at your face. Looks like you got a little puffball thing going on there. Oh, I gotcha. A bee. Must have been more than one by the looks of it. More like a bee convention. 
Hey, don't get me wrong, I'd like some honey too, but I don't want to end up looking like this. Thanks, Dozer. At least you weren't as cra- at least it, you weren't as mean as static. Hey, Peaches. Ah! I mean, bug! Was that a bug? Oh, nope. Not to be rude, but did you know your face is swollen? Oh, really? Stung by a bee? That stinks. Hey, and listen, just because I was startled doesn't mean you're hideous. It's just seeing someone li looking like that first thing in the morning is kind of weird, neighbor. <laughs> yeah, great. Alright, cool. So, um... What are we doing? <laughs> what What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I, uh, I'll check the beach for you guys and talk to Sable and we'll just- we'll end the episode because... <laughs> I don't think I think I don't think anything else is gonna happen today, other than me helping these villagers out, and you know doing some general mm, Animal Crossing things like fishing, catching some stuff. I just scared away that fish like an idiot. <laughs> Gotta be careful in the mornings. You can you might see sharks. I haven't seen a shark yet. I can't wait to find a shark though because sharks are cool, but they're very rare. I remember the first time I, I caught a shark in Animal Crossing. It was a sunfish, so I guess it wasn't really a shark. But I saw the fin out of the water, and I was like, Oh my god, it's a shark! Oh my god, it's a shark! It was like the coolest thing I'd ever seen. And then I caught the sunfish, and I was like, What the frick is this? I don't know. But I, I never sold it to Tom Nook, and I didn't give it to the museum either. I just kept it as a pet. <laughs> Every item here is lost. I mean, we don't know them. We don't them. We take anything. Okay, cool. I have a stationary. You know what? I'll take it. Why not? Free stationary. Sure. Oh, well, that's petal paper, I think, so would that be yours? That's right! Oh, yes, yes, of course, you can take it, of course. That's fine, go ahead. Shouldn't be a problem, I think. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go to the Able sisters now. And talk to Sable. Hey, Copper, how you doing? Thank you for stopping by! Alright, uh, you don't have to be so... Uh, chipper this early in the morning. <laughs> also, I should probably just always have my net out. Because I want to catch that stupid bug. And as soon as it comes, you have to run for it. I'm gonna- I have to dig this up. <laughs> Let's get my net out! Runs into a dig spot. Freaking. Alright, gimme. Ooh, this is that thing that that, that static buried. Great. Ran a ranch hutch. A ranch hutch. I don't know what that is. Don't really care. Probably nothing I want, so I'm just gonna sell it. I see a weed. And I see you, kitty. I know you're there. I know you're there. Hey, no scratching up the furniture. You dang cat. I found a fossil. Check it out, dug up a fossil. It's fossil number two out of three. Great. Also, I found out that the shells, some of them are actually worth a lot of money. I don't know which ones are, but... You know, selling them is not a bad idea. Alright, let's go to the Able Sisters and see what Sable's up to. She likes me now, guys. She likes me now. Hi there, come on in. Welcome to the Able Sisters. We're the blah blah blah. Okay, cool. Don't care. Oh, thanks for stopping by. What? Which picture? What? Uh, oh, don't be ridiculous, Nick. Of course I'm still single. What? Huh? What? Huh? What? What? What picture? What picture now? What? Oh! Oh, you're married back there. Somebody's married. I don't know. What? What? <laughs> no, no, that's my mother. That porcupine with his arm around her is my father. I'm the girl there, and that cute little baby is Mabel. The two of us are a little over ten years apart. Oh my god, what? Wait, what? You're ten years apart? So, if you're not in the picture, that means you're the younger one, right? Holy frick, you're like my mom and her sister. They're also ten years apart. Ten years apart, not a little over. Frickin' heck. Yes, back when Mabel was still young, both of our parents passed away. It was a sad time for me. Oh. Wait, what? No, so you're older than Mabel. What? <laughs> then why aren't you in the picture? <laughs> also, what? <laughs> okay, so, hold up. I understand. There's three sisters, right? There's the older, the oldest sister, then there's Sable. I guess she's the middle child, and then Mabel's the youngest. That's what I'm guessing, so... The, when the, huh? You and your older sister were born to the same parents, and 
Maybe your mother got remarried and then had Mabel? I'm just guessing this because one, you and your older sister are both brown, Mabel's blue, and also, uh, why would they be married and holding a baby in their wedding clothes when you're already born and your older sister's already born? Oh, you're confusing me. My head hurts. <laughs> Mabel was just a baby, so she doesn't remember anything of those days. I'd it's probably just as well. Still, it tugs on my heartstrings that this picture is the only memory she has of her parents. Growing up, I knew that I couldn't take the place of our parents. After all, I was just a child myself. What about the, the other one? The other sister? Isn't she also a sister, or is she like your cousin? I don't remember the story. I also completely forgot her name. Abel? Mabel? Ta no, it's not Mabel. I was about to say table. <laughs> Growing up, I knew that I couldn't take the place of our parents. After all, I was just a child myself. Still, I've done all I could to protect her from any lingering pain. She's my little sis, and I love her. I think that's why she's grown up to be so bright and optimistic. It makes me so happy to see that. Although, sometimes her tomboy nature does get her into trouble. Okay, thank you for telling me her entire life story. <laughs> sis, you're not talking about stuff you should be talking about, are you? You know, stuff! <laughs> Teehee, it's nothing. Oh, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Okay, great. Can you do anything for me, though? You'll have to pardon me if I made you uncomfortable. I didn't mean to make you listen to such a gloomy tale. I usually keep those old painful memories bottled up, but I actually feel better having talked about them. Maybe you need a counselor. <laughs> talking to you just seems so natural, Nick. Before I even realize it, I'm talking your ears off. You know, in real life, people tell me the same thing. I think it's because I don't talk back. <laughs> Nick doesn't talk back either. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you don't talk and you just listen, smile, and nod your head, people will like you just because they get to talk the entire time. And they assume you're listening. <laughs> I mean, I do listen, you know, most of the time when I'm not daydreaming. <laughs> I wonder why. It strikes me as pretty strange, especially because I normally keep myself so... So what? Okay, oh god, she's gonna say all that again. Oh, frick. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's it. Thanks again, you come back now. I never buy anything here. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, I guess that's gonna be it, guys. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna play on my own now, and the next time you guys come over and see me, uh, I'll probably have a three-story house. Yeah. Alright, anyway. Bye.